गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट पाइथन बिल्टिंग फंक्शंस सो फर्स्ट यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज ए फंक्शन ए फंक्शन इज ए ब्लॉक ऑफ स्टेटमेंट्स with a name these block of statements will be executed upon calling the function generally the functions are two types user defined functions and built in functions these built in functions are or comes with the, the programming language which are ready to use we no need to write the code just we have to call the function with the required parameters whatever it is required we no need to worry about what is the internal uh, code so that is what uh, built in function remember these are predefined by the library of the language i already mentioned these functions are readily available for the uses now let us see what are the couple of built in functions supported by important built in functions supported by python here i have listed couple of built in functions supported by python we will see one by one we will see one by one the first and foremost functionality that everyone has to know in python help function now we will start the ide let me open this python ide le environment now first we will see the help function now if you see here once you open this uh, ideally environment uh, there you can find the words help copyright credits license so there we will see the first one the help function see now i switch it to interactive help module there you can type uh, the word if already some information is available that word definitely it is going to be list out now i will enter the another one true see the text has been squeezed you can click on it you can get the complete information about the true see help on the bool object clash bool there is a function bool of x returns true when the argument x is true false otherwise right so this is what the first one in help function this is a what interactive help interactive help now we will come to our normal uh, chevrolet by by writing the command quit now i will write it in another way help command help within that i have written what for within that i have written the what for see now we got the description about the for loop so it will tell you the complete uh, description about the help so this is what the first function which everyone has to understand you can also type on another way help keywords yeah you can see the list of keywords supported by python 
yes you can also give help modules you can see the list of modules supported by python it will take time but definitely it will generate the the list of modules which is supported by python you can see here we can see the list of modules which are supported by python similarly you can also uh, check help topics uh, thereby you can understand uh, uh, the list of uh, topics in the python so this is what is about uh, the help function see here it has been listed out the list of modules supported by the python right these are all the modules supported by python now similarly you can also try for what uh, help on topics so that you will get the uh, the list of topics of the python right so this is what is about uh, the help built-in function in the python help built-in function in the python similarly you can also type help topics just enter see right here is the list of topics supported by python right so this is what is about the first built-in function help now the next one we are going to the next built-in function we are going to see in the python is a print function now let me open the file in this only i am going to check now let me save this file let me make it as a built-in right now we have to know about the what print function now print function print hello world when you want to print something on the console you can use the print function the sim simple syntax is what print whatever the text you want to display that you can pass it in the double quotes or the single quotes are also possible within the single quotes also you can give or else you can also give in triple single quotes also you can give right triple single quotes you can also give the what triple double quotes triple double quotes hello world right save it and can run it right now if you want to know about this print command in the help itself you can pass the printer thereby you can get the the complete syntax of the print function generally this print function will take variable number of arguments that is what is mentioned by star args then after it is having the optional parameter separator and file flush right this is a what a function in the python which will take the variable number of arguments now let me show it with the example how the uh, how exactly it will take the variable number of arguments now let me remove this then here i will write print aditya institute of technology and management right save it and you can execute it so here how many arguments we have passed if you see this function in the example we have passed aditya as a one argument institute is the second argument of is the third argument technology is the fourth argument and is the fifth argument management is the sixth argument this is the way a function in the python which will take the variable number of arguments there is no fixed number of arguments here so what are all the output you have seen here see in between that uh, you can observe there is a space there is a space now the default behavior the separator is what space now instead of the separator uh, instead of the space i am going to override the behavior see now i am going to make it as a star now run run module see here 
so whatever the default behavior space is there the space has been overridden by the star so that is what the separator attribute in the python separator attribute in the python yes if at all you want to uh, change this with uh, some other i am mentioning it as a double tab space run it yes if you want to override the default behavior yes you have a chance you can override it now the separator i am going to make it as uh, slash n yes of course you can do this run run module if you see here now whatever the default behavior of the separator is what generally it is a what single space now that is what i am overrided with the help of the separator attribute now here what i have given i have given slash n that is what the separator attribute similarly you can have the end attribute also the end attribute by default slash n now what i am going to do is the end attribute i make it as a item now here i will write something technically now let us see what's happened here oh syntax mistake right save it and run run module now see so what is the separator here the separator here uh, instead of the slash and here we have the what atom so the default behavior of the end is what slash and the default behavior now i change it with the what atom now instead of the slash and i am going to keep the what slash t so it is not going to print in two lines rather than it is going to print in only one line aditya institute of technology and management technically now what is the behavior of the end parameter here the uh, behavior of the end parameter here is what slash t so like that you can override here that is what is about uh, separator argument and the end argument so this is what is about the print function in the python so this is the another important uh, built in function in the python now let us see the next one input function let us see the next one input function this input function is used to read the values from the user at the dynamic that is what the use of this input function yes we can try it a equal to input now let me run it so definitely it will it will ask for the prompt in the prompt itself you can type something then press the enter so that is what now if you want to display some message in the for this input itself you can give some message uh, enter a number enter a number then run it right enter a number here 34 so 34 has been inputted so using this input function you can read the values but here important thing you have to understand here is whatever the data you are going to read whether you are going to read the string or the integer or the floating point value or the complex number whatever you are going to read the input function is not uh, is going to return everything is in the string format everything is in the string format so do not think that uh, if you, if you are accepting the integer it, it will be a integer means no it will be string only if you have a doubt you can use the another important function uh, a type function this type function is used to check what kind of data is holding by the variable a now run module now what here i am going to give is i am going to give 4.5 so when i am giving 4.5 the moment i have passed the 4.5 we might think that it is going to store the data in the what floating point no so whatever you are going to read uh, you, using the input function it will be in the string format only now run the module again now here i am going to pass the one complex number but do not think that the variable is a complex no again it will be a what string again it will be a what string now what if you want to Uh, convert into respect to data type means there are the some conversion functions are there right so using this conversion functions you can uh, convert into respect to data types the conversion functions are int float complex int float complex using this conversion functions you can convert into respect to data type so that is what we are going to check now how exactly these conversion functions are useful means now see now i want to and now i want to accept integer 
under a so what i have done the input function i applied to int so that whatever the data you have given in the string format it will be converted into what integer for example here i have given 5.6 see uh, since it is an integer right we have we must enter the what integer only we should not pass the floating point values now here run it again then let me pass some value 34 see the integer it is what integer similarly you can give some other value right so this is how you can convert into what integer similarly you can convert the data into float also right now run run module 5.6 so now this 5.6 is what yes initially it is a string format only but we have converted into what float using the float function you can convert the string into what float similarly you, you will also have the what uh, this complex function using the complex function you can convert into complex right let me accept it 3 plus 2 plus 3 is a c it was converted into what complex these are the what the important conversion functions there is a one more conversion function is there so what it will do is whatever the data you have entered it will convert it into string format for example str of one you want to convert into what some string format now run module right now the one is converted into what string format similarly now uh, you want to convert some 1.2 into string right str of 1.2 you want to convert into string actually 1.2 is a what float now using the str function we can convert anything into string data type right so so far what we have seen we have seen the conversion function like int int is a conversion function which is used to convert the string into integer floating point into integer we have seen the another uh, conversion function that is what float string can be converted into float or integer also can be converted into float if you want to check yes here you can check float one now immediately i just want to print it uh, how exactly it will be there yes you can see this 1.0 will be printed just check it run run module yes 1.0 class float so this is what is about the conversion functions conversion functions now you have to see the other one other uh, coin of the the int conversion function see a equal to int of some hundred comma two that means uh, we are informing the system that this 100 is not a decimal value rather than it is in the binary format the second argument will indicate the what base now it will print the what 4 it will print the what 4 run run module you can see now 4 will be printed similarly you can try with the other bases like uh, 8 16 also you can try 8 run run module now the 100 will be converted into uh, actually this 100 was read in the octal format now the octal is converted into what decimal actually the 100 octal in the decimal is what 64 similarly we can also try with the what uh, the 16 so 16 means hexadecimal now whatever that 100 is there we are converting into what hexadecimal so this is what is about the uh, another important uh, functionality in the conversion function that is what integer now uh, let us see the other uh, functions so so far we have covered print input int float right now we are going to see the next function abs so this abs function will give the what absolute value will give the what absolute value whatever the value you are going to pass always it, it is going to be converted into what uh, uh, positive value now abs of i am going to give minus 5 now even if you even if you pass the minus 5 here it is going to print the what plus 5 that is what always it is going to provide the what absolute value always it is going to provide the what absolute value now for example i have passed inf 
now let's see wh what exactly this inf will do yeah inf is not defined okay then i will make it as infinite ah oh, sorry in infinite is not there right now i will keep nn absolute of nn right one thing you have to understand here for the absolute function you must pass the what values now 1.2 minus 1.2 now run run module let's see yeah floating points are also accepted but remember this absolute function will give the what the positive value whatever you are going to provide even negative you pass or positive pass it will be converted into what positive that is what the absolute function that is what the absolute function now let us see the next function now the next function we are going to see is the maximum function this maximum function you can try for the integers or you can try for the what uh, characters are the strings also which will give the largest value in the given list of values similarly in case of strings based on the ascii value it is going to work so whatever the um, whatever the string is lexicographically largest value that will be written now we will see it practically this maximum function now uh, print max of 1 10 23 minus 9 99 okay so this is what i'm going to perform uh, we can clearly observe that 99 is the maximum right 99 has been printed you can pass as many arguments and then you can print similarly you can also try for the what minimum value similarly you can also try for the what minimum value right the minimum minimum is what minus 9 similarly here you can also try for the what uh, uh, what we call we, you can also try for the alphabets yes that is what i am going to try now so one is the capital a the another is the what small a now let us see which one is the smaller one see capital a this comparison has been done based on the ascii value right so this maximum and min minimum you can use it for the what integers and the characters and the strings you can try maximum right so here i am going to provide aditya institute of technology and management right so now we will see lexicographically definitely it is going to print one let us see what it is going to print the largest one the largest one it is telling that technology which is having the highest ascii value highest ascii value similarly you can also try the minimum value minimum value clearly we understood that aditya and and let us see what's going to be printed aditya right since oh, since as the first letters are uh, mapped first le first letters are equal it is comparing the second letter when you see the second letter uh, and d and n their d is having the lesser ascii value that's why aditya has been printed here so that is what about uh, max and min now similarly you can also try with the sum function this sum function you can work on the numerals right so the, which is going to print the what the sum of the literals which you passed in the sum function you can pass as many values it is a variable function you can pass as many yeah sum takes at most two arguments three are given okay sorry now this sum function what we are going to do is it is going to operate on the list now print sum of a run run module see it is going to be printed 6 so this is what the sum module right now we will see the next function that is what the power function the power function is taking the two arguments one is the base the another is the exponentiation function 
so it will whatever the ba base is there for the base it will apply the exponentiation and whatever the value is there the value is going to be printed there is another variation is also there for the power function it will take the three arguments the third argument is applicable for the what division now let us it practically print uh, power of 2 comma 4 now 2 power 4 means definitely it would be print what 16 now here don't do not think that we have to pass only integers no you can pass the what uh, floating point values also you can pass when you pass the floating point value your result is also obviously what floating point value yeah just now we have verified we can pass the third argument also let us take the third argument is 3 2 power 4 means 16 16 divided by 3 means obviously we will get the remainder as a what 1 16 mod 3 we will get the what 1 so these are the two variations of the power function power function can take two arguments or the three arguments only if you pass the two arguments it will calculate the power value and then it will give if you pass the third argument whatever the third argument you have passed first it will calculate the power value and then it will apply the what the modulo operation then it will give the what a reminder right so that is what about the power function now the next important function which you have to understand is the all function so this all function will return the true if all the elements in the given iteratable are the true otherwise it written false now let us see with the one example now let us take a equal to all one comma one so since one is a true means it is a not equal to zero right now definitely you will get the true then you can print the a now a right run module both are true so which takes only one argument okay sorry we have to pass the list here then i will going to make it as a what list yeah right now run module yes true now we will try with the different examples now what i am going to do is now i am going to add zero now if you check first one is true second one is true but the third one is false all function means what all the elements in the iteratable true means then only it will return the true first element is true second element is true but the third element is what false so definitely it will return the what false right now we will see the other example here also we will see one more example false true now you check the first element first element is false then no need to evaluate the remaining so automatically it will return the what false only right if all the elements in the iteratable are true then only this all will return the what true otherwise it is what false now 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 now see this will give true right since all the elements are what true now i am going to make one empty set now since empty set it is going to return the what false so false got my point now i will make it as none now we will check it if one of the element is none whether the none is taken as a true or false you check it yes if none none means also none is also what taken as a what false which you have to understood now i will make this as a what uh, empty list empty list see this is also a what false similarly you can have the one more function any if one of the thing is true then it will give the true any one of the element is true the entire thing will be true just like your or operation just like your or operation now if all are false then this any will give what false now run module right false if one of the element is true then it will give the then it will give the what 
two. That is what uh, you have to understand the basic difference between the all and any. All is just like uh, your end condition. Any is just like uh, what your R condition, right? Now, the sum function we have already discussed here. It will it will print the what uh, so the sum of the values in the given input. The input is what must list are the tuple list are the tuple now we have this the binary function this binary function will give the representation of the integer now if you see here in the output itself the first uh, the prefix you have to understand the prefix is the what ob the prefix is the what ob now you can see here bin 10 now you can give bin 100 so here the important thing you have to understand is the prefix the first two letters ob the ob indicates the what the text is in the binary similarly we have the what octal o similarly we have one more function called uh, hexadecimal that is what 2 3 4 these are the what uh, the one function is related to binary you can convert the integer into binary you can convert the integer into octal you can convert the integer into hexadecimal these are the three conversion functions these are the three conversion functions the next function is the due mode function at a time you can get the quotient and the reminder at a time you can get the what quotient and a reminder we will see practically due mode 2 comma 3 see all right the quotient uh, which is telling as a 0 and the reminder which is telling as a what 3 next div mode 34 comma 5 see 6 comma 4 so once you pass the two arguments to here it will perform the division and it will give a tuple where the first value indicate the quotient the second value indicate the what a reminder that is what the div mode function and the next one is the round function see the round function here uh, after you are performing some sort of uh, division you want to confine your result to up to say 10 decimal digits then if you mention it as a one digit it will come as a up to one digit if you mentioned as a two digits it will display the digits up to two digits if you mentioned it is a three it will come as a three digits if you mention as a minus one it won't take anything if you mention zero it won't take anything now let us see it practically now round 4 by 5 1 so up to 1 round 4 by 5 minus 1 0 0 now round 4 by 5 4 by 5 0 1.0 0. right so that is what up to how many digits you required 2 by 3 you need up to 7 digits see up to 7 digits it will come right so it's up to you how many digits you want to display using using the round function you can go with up to as many now this conversion function we have already seen the type function is used to determine what kind of data is holding by a variable what kind of data is holding by a variable now type 1 it is a what integer type 2.3 it is a what float type none it is a what none type type true it is a what boolean type type 1 comma 2 it is a what list type 1 comma 2 comma Three. It is a what tuple type. It is a what dictionary type. It is a what set. So like that. What are the different uh, sort of uh, data types are supported by the Python uh, dynamically? Those you can recognize with the help of the type function. This type function will recognize what kind of data is holding by the your variable right that is what the type function then this float function we have discussed we can convert the str string into float we can convert the integer into also float function this complex function is what whenever you want to create the complex number yes using the complex function you can have the what 
complex numbers which will take the two arguments the first argument is the integer part the second argument is the what uh, imaginary part so whatever this j is there this j can be small or capital now the length function is the length function is used to print the length of the given variable now length so i just want to print uh, the length of the narration it will give 6 now length i will pass one list here right 3 so you can find the length of a string you can find the length of a collection variable also collection variable also that is what the length function then ord function which will give the unicode representation the ascii value ascii value for the given alphabet now small a 97 capital a 65 see we will try with the other ord z similarly ord capital k so if you want to get the ascii value of the given alphabet uh, you can use the what ord function right then chr function will do the reversal of the ord so if you pass the ascii value or if you pass the ascii value it will give the character representation now we will see here one example ord 38 yeah ord 38 uh, oh sorry chr 38 chr 38 means what ampersand now chr 48 chr 40 ah no sorry function name is chr 48 chr 48 is means what zero chr 53 now 53 uh, oh sorry chr chr 53 53 means what 5 so if you pass the numerical value it will give the the respective representation now the last one we are going to discuss is evaluation function this evaluation function is used to evaluate the expression now eval you can pass it in double quotes it will evaluate the arithmetic expression and it will give the the result to you oh sorry eval 2 minus 3 into 5 4 9 right i have given an arithmetic expression so for which i got the what minus 25 this is what is about the python built in functions in the next class we will see the next topic thank you